It seems we are too late. Is this the hermit we came in search of? Unfortunately so. He was in deep meditation when he breathed his last. I am glad at least that he was prepared to meet his fate. But that posture, it is awful. Uniquely awful. I know it from somewhere. Issue one of the Ogler's Digest, and in mint condition. <gasps> ah, indeed. It seems our friend here made his peace with the world before departing. This, at least, is some small solace. <clears throat> This... this is one of the royal treasures of Dundrasil. Why would a lowly hermit have such a... <gasps> a skies! Can it really be? Lord Robert! Your grandfather was Master Pang's most fervent disciple. Can he have chosen to follow his mentor to the next life, perhaps? No, he is still breathing. What? His spirit hovers in the place between life and death. It is only a matter of time before he passes the point of no return. But there may yet be a way to save him. If you were to follow him into the void, you might be able to bring him back. But how? Is this even possible? The ancient teachings tell us that the summit of Mount Pang Lai stands at the crossroads between this world and the next. If you will permit me, I can perform an ancient rite that will send you to the place between worlds. But it is not a decision to be taken lightly. Once that place is entered, there is no guarantee of return. Well, will you take that chance? Will you visit the Void and bring Lord Robert back to us? Hmm. Very well. I will prepare for the ritual. Tell me when you are ready, and we will begin. It is time to depart for the place to which every soul must go, but from which few ever return. It is time to perform the rite. What is this foolish dance? What manner of ritual is this? Another wandering soul drifts into my domain. Welcome, child, to the end of your journey. Destiny is cruel indeed to send me one so young. This may be a fruitless question, 
given the vacant expression you wear, but... Do you know what fate awaits you here? He is wise beyond his years. An intellectual giant. I must return to the world above and tell everyone I met such a marvel. Do you think me a fool, boy? Do not pretend. There is no need for pretense here. You are ignorant. This is as it should be. Let me unburden you of at least a little of your ignorance. I will explain in simple terms that even an idiot may understand. As you see, this world is a blank slate. It is a place of nothingness. Before Yggdrasil fell, departed souls would come here before returning to the world tree. But now that the tree is gone, it is a place with an entrance but no exit. A dead end for the dead. A spiritual cul-de-sac. What I'm trying to tell you is that you will never leave this world. Before long, your soul will dissipate and be lost to the void. As long as the cycle of souls is interrupted, all who die will suffer the same fate. Until at last, the Lord of Shadows is the only one who remains. This is your destiny. Accept it. For you cannot change it. Or do you cling to the vain hope that the heart of Yggdrasil may be recovered from Mordigan's clutches? If you do, you are a fool. And yet, you would not be alone in your foolishness. There are others who refuse to accept that all is lost. Some people just don't know when to give up. That he chose death out of a sense of despair. You could not be more wrong. He came here with hope in his heart. The hope that one day he will defeat the Lord of Shadows. Your grandfather came to find me so that I might teach him the last of my secrets. You know who I am, of course. Foolish child. I am Pang. Grandmaster of Anguilla. Your grandfather's teacher and tormentor. Do you see the magic circle that surrounds him? <coughs> the precise pattern of movements draws energy from the ether and channels it to create the mandala of Idrissa. This is the final secret. He has been flailing away like this ever since he arrived here. It is not good for him at his age. But when the Great Sigil is complete, he will have mastery over a power not seen since the Age of Heroes. Get out, mate! Don't you dare give up now! I'll beat your bottom black and blue, I swear it! Oh!
you look at that? Perhaps he is not completely useless after all. It was beautiful! Hmm. Yes. Very impressive. I thought you had gone soft in your dotage. But it seems you still have some guts. Well done. Jinx! Grandmaster Pang! Was that... praise? For the first time in my long life, she's actually paid me a compliment. Oh, that's worn my cockles more than a hundred nips of the hard stuff. Ugh. Perhaps if you could stop congratulating yourself for one moment and squint beyond the end of your bulbous nose, you would see we have a visitor. My, is it, is it really you, laddie? Oh, not you as well. Your poor young life snatched away from you. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Oh, stop your snivelling. The boy is alive. He's what? But what's he doing here, then? He and his friends found your body and sent his soul from the world above to bring you back. Ah, oh, really? But I only came here to... You went to all that trouble. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Finer than ever, in fact. Now that I've learned the final secret, you and me are going to be unstoppable. Come on, let's get back to our bodies and show that Lord of Shadows what we're made of. Stop right there. Where do you think you are going? I can't thank you enough for all you've done, Grandmaster. But now that my training's finished, I need to be on my way. <laughs> Finished. Oh, but we haven't even begun. Honored Luminary, if you would like to follow me, 